So it's Friday. Basically, Troy and I are obsessed with skincare and watching skincare tutorials on YouTube. So I don't know if you know, but like Harper's Bazaar and all those like channels do those nighttime skincare routines or the morning ones. And I think I've watched every single one. And what we have realized is that if you have an incredible skincare routine, you literally don't have to use any makeup because the skincare alone makes your skin so fresh and so glowy that you don't need to put makeup on or you just then put on like a tiny bit of like mascara and you're good to go so we are on a mission to find new skincare right now i'm using troy's rose hip oil and i think i really like it so i might get some of my own i will take you guys with us i think we're going to go to mecca and then show you guys a tutorial when we get home stay tuned Hey, so we are on our way to Mecca. Can I just give a bit of context? So lately I've been watching YouTube makeup tutorials where... Did you already explain this? I kind of explained it, but I It's about <laughs> the glow from within. It's not about a full-on, like, full coverage. You can get there by layering. But yeah. it's not really about that. Sage is blessed with absolutely gorgeous skin. So I reckon she should be doing just like a nice, like, glowy something and then yeah. a sheer foundation. Because I said top. to them how I put on your rose hip oil. Yes. And I feel like that has already made my skin so glowy. So maybe I should just get my own of that. Yeah. And then a cute blushy highlighter. Yeah. And I feel like that will be good to go. Rose hip oil has been my go-to for a long time now. Never got a pimple from it or anything like that. Makes you glowy and it's so cheap and you can get it from there, literally like the pharmacy, the chemist, anywhere. Yeah. You don't even need to get the fancy one at all. So maybe we won't even end up buying anything from Mecca, but it's such a beautiful store. So we should just We're gonna go, go putz around. Check it out. Mm. Did he do it? Wait, what's this? I'm just trying to remember. He normally uses this like Charlotte Tilbury stuff, I think. Uh, or am I thinking of someone else? He normally does the same. Hmm, maybe it wasn't him. So ask them what Charlotte Tilbury product they would. I think it was like. Let's look. A real glow getter. Okay, so we have found this drunk elephant tinted moisturizer. Guys, I'm just editing this and I refer to that product as a tinted moisturizer throughout this video and it's not and I feel like Troy was trying to tell me that throughout the day but it just didn't go through my head. So basically they are called sunshine drops because it's not a moisturizer, it's more like a liquid face tint that you add to moisturizer and it gives you a glow which is really nice. Put a bit on my hand, but you can't really tell. It's nice. It's really nice. So I think we're gonna get that and then go to a chemist and get a rose hip oil because you can get pretty cheap rose hip oils, right? Yeah, definitely. And then maybe a sample size of a blush. <laughs> <laughs> Why does your hand look really red? The, well, this one's red and then this one's yellow. <laughs> um, there, you can tell. This has the product on it. Okay, we're back in the car. We've got the merchandise. Do you wanna explain what we got? We literally just got the little guy. We um, ended up only getting one The product drunk elephant. Because... Oh, put my belt on. I guess we got in there and reality kicked in and things were very expensive. So we only ended up getting a tinted moisturizer because we are going to go and get a rose hip oil. Which is so cheap and amazing. And then also Sage has everything else that she needs already. But I'm going to try this quickly, but I don't know where to put the camera. Okay, put oh. It <laughs> I really think you won't need a lot, Troy. Yeah, because... it's so pigmented. Okay, don't fall. Because we're turning. Can you notice? Wow, I mean dewy. Dewy? Tanned? Very. And I think it'll look even better with an oil or with a... Vibes. Even a moisturizer, I think. Does it have SPF? Like your ASAP. Okay, so it's on. I can't really see... Yeah, because I'm gonna have to get in the sun and like have a good look. Initial thoughts, Sage? Really dewy and glowy. Wow, look at you. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I'm excited to try. I, I feel like you should also put on your neck. Yeah. And I feel like it'll be easier to apply with an oil. Yeah, maybe. Just I reckon if you were to make. No, maybe this is a terrible idea. I was gonna say make a mixture of like 
your moisturizer, two or three drops of rosehip oil and like a pump or two of that and like make a little mousse. Yeah. It could be fun. Yeah. Okay, well when I get home, I think I'll do an updated beauty routine. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Troy and I have just gotten back from Mecca and I thought I would show you my updated beauty routine even though I've never used this before. <laughs> Hopefully it works out. I guess this is actually a review video. Kind of, yeah. First impressions. Cool. Look at that. First things first, I showed this in my last video. Basically, this is what I use to wash my face. It is the Dr. Dennis Gross Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. So I just used that. I am loving it. And yeah, I highly recommend it. So this is the moment of truth. This is the product we walked out with from Mecca. It is the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. So it's like a tinted moisturizer. However, it doesn't have SPF, so I use the Mario Badescu moisturizer. It's got SPF 15 in it. So that is what I'm going to put on first. And then I'll put the tinted moisturizer over that. Once I have put on my moisturizer with SPF 15, I am going to try out this Drunk Elephant product with rosehip oil because our aim here is to use as little makeup as possible but still have glowy skin. I'm gonna take like one to two pumps. Is that a lot? It's hell pigmented. Okay, this that. might be like way too dark for me, but it looks really good on you. How many drops did you use? One and a half pumps. I do look a bit. Is that, like do you orange. reckon? No, th that's like a good amount. I, if I was you, maybe I would dot it on because then you get it even. Okay. I don't know what you reckon. Now I'm going to add the rosehip oil before. Just take like one to like two drops of rosehip oil. And now I'm just mixing it all together. Obviously, I'm just gonna have to keep rubbing it in. <laughs> but this is what happened to me. Like, I got super greasy and stuff, and, and then, then it dries down. Like, yeah. Look. Okay, wait. It's even looking a bit better now. And you know what? I'm not gonna have to put on bronzer or contour because it's dark now. It's really dark. It's really dark. Shit. No, as in, put some on your neck. I reckon you could just maybe use less. Okay. Maybe that's the heat because I really like how it feels. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's the rosehip oil, but. No, wait, it's, it's getting better and yeah. better by the second. Also, I like. Wow, you look like you got back from Byron. I also like using my hands because it just really warms it up and gets it rubbed in. Just for the record, my process was I put foundation, sorry, <laughs> moisturizer in my hand, a couple drops of the rosehip oil, I mixed those two, and then I put like a little... Oh. Okay, that could yeah. be a better way to put it on. I feel like I like that. It even looks better in real life. And if it's too much, you can just get a beauty blender. Can I flip it's the camera and show them what it looks like? Sure. Yeah, that looks really good. After a sufficient amount of rubbing in, I feel like it actually looks really nice. Okay, good product. <laughs> so the next thing that I would do is take an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I do I go cross eye? No, 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 I just realized I'm like half in the video, <laughs> like I go. <laughs> I'm just chilling in the corner. Okay, I'm gonna leave you for the rest. Okay, you say bye. Bye everyone. <laughs> okay, so next in my beauty routine, I would take a brow pencil. I just finished mine, the Glossier one, which I love and would highly recommend using. I think it's called the Brow Gel. However, I finished it. So I'm using Troy's. This is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. Now, I didn't actually know this, but there are three parts to this pencil. three parts of this pencil. There is this end which is just really fine and I will use that to do the finishing touches. Then there is this middle section which is a bit thicker which I'm going to use for the main parts of my brow and then the brush at the end. So I'm going to try this for the first time. This is a lot of trying out product for my beauty routine. I personally like my brows really like bushy and not perfect. So if they're not perfect, that's just that. 
I guess that's enough for like the main part of my brows. Now I'm going to take the more precise end of the pencil. I really like this pencil, Troy. It's good, eh? It was like four bucks. <laughs> I don't actually know that, so don't put that in there. <laughs> As you can see, really, really casual brows. Once I am done my brows, I then usually go in with concealer. This is the concealer I've been using forever. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. For every day, I just take a bit and put a tiny bit under my eyes. And then I put on any spots. And just on my chin to brighten it up. What I love about this concealer is that there is so much that comes off of the applicator. So you really don't have to use a lot. And then I just blend it in with a damp beauty blender. What I have learned over the years is that you can never blend enough. <laughs> That is concealer done. Next, I'm gonna take my blush. This is the NARS G-Spot Cream Blush. It is a really beautiful like cherry color and it has a lot of shimmer in it. So I just take a bit and put it on my cheeks, even on my cheekbones a little. And then I take my beauty blender and blend it in. I even just take everything over my lids because once again, we're blending. Okay, that's the blush done. So I feel like I'm pretty happy with this look. I feel like if I'm leaving the house, this is perfect for me. I would probably put on mascara, but I think for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you some other staple products that I use. The Too Faced, I think it's the chocolate bronzer. I've had this for so long that I haven't had to get a new one. So I don't actually know if they sell this still, do they? Help us this out, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I either use this or Clinique has a chubby stick contour bronzer that I'm obsessed with that I use all the time but I feel like I look very bronzed right now so I don't need it. I always put my bronzer on my lids just to add some color there. And that's bronzer done. So now I feel like I look pretty glowy so I don't think I need to add highlighter. But if I was going to add highlighter, I've been using the Nightshine Highlight Concentrate from Glossier, it is so good. I'll show you how it looks on my face. Last but not least, I will put on some mascara and then that is the look done. This is the NARS Climax mascara. I love it. It's nearly finished though, so not too much is coming out right now. Okay, so this is the finished everyday makeup look. I am pleasantly surprised with how nicely this Drunk Elephant product turned out. Um, at first, I was obviously freaking out when I put it on my skin, but the more I blended it, the better it started to look. And now that I'm finished the makeup routine, I think it, it looks awesome. Recommend using rosehip oil because I think that is what has made it so glowy. Yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you want me to talk about any of these products further, please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.